Prometheus Federation allows us to combine metrics from multiple Prometheus servers into one. This video will create multiple Prometheus containers and then show how the metrics from both can be combined into a single location with Federation. Okay, I've created a folder in VS Code and I've opened it. And I'm going to begin by creating two containers, a C advisor and a Prometheus container. So I'll create a Docker Compose YAML. In here, we're going to define our two containers. The first one will be a C advisor container. And then um, I'm going to make a directory called Prometheus. And this is going to contain all the configuration files for our Prometheus containers. So the first file I'm going to make, just so we can keep track, we'll try to use easy to remember names like Prometheus with C advisor metrics.yaml. And then I'll fill out that file in a second. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to paste the Prometheus config here. And the order here doesn't really matter. So um, the key thing to note is that I'm mounting the file, this file into the container as the Prometheus YAML. So when it runs, it'll know where to pull the configuration from. I'm also going to specify the ports. Uh, we're going to open 9090 so we can just make sure everything works as expected. And then over here in our Prometheus with C advisor metrics, uh, really simple. I just have a section here to scrape metrics every five seconds. And we only have one target, which is C advisor and C advisor listens on port 8080. So every five seconds, it's going to scrape C advisor metrics. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and run uh, the C advisor and Prometheus container just with Docker compose up. So it looks like it ran. I'll go over here and check in the browser. Uh, yeah, it looks like port 9090 is exposed and it looks like port 9090 is exposed. Um, and it looks like I can also just like query metrics. Uh, for example, up is one for, uh, showing that a container is up and fine. There's metrics being exported. So that looks good. Um, you can query like pretty much whatever you want. Uh, if you're trying to learn federation, chances are this is not new to you. So none of this is interesting, but this is just a good start point. So we know like, okay, basic Prometheus functionality works fine. Um, let's move on to the next thing. So once that's done, um, let's go ahead and define our federation container. And to do that, I'm going to make a new file in here. Uh, the Prometheus folder called uh, Prometheus Federation. And it's going to be very similar to what we did for the uh, C advisor metrics. So what I've just pasted in here is very similar. Um, it's the same interval. Um, we just have like a target. Uh, we call it like Prometheus Federation. Um, this is just saying to preserve the labels on the metrics that we're grabbing from other Prometheus servers. And then down here we have like the target the other Prometheus server. So once I have this, I can go over here and I can basically copy this thing again, call it Prometheus uh, Federation as you can see, everything should work just fine here. The mounts are the same, but the names are changed, but every, the config is basically the same besides what file we're mounting into the container. I'm going to hide this port 9090. And I'll expose 9091 to access the new Prometheus container we're running just to prove that I'm not opening up the same container again. Like this is the federated version of Prometheus. So I'll go ahead and kill this, uh, run it again with build just to be sure. So now we've basically restarted all the containers. Um, if I go over here and refresh 9090, of course it doesn't work because it's on 9091 now. And if I go to metrics, these are all the metrics um, exported by the federated Prometheus container, which is a combination of that C advisor Prometheus and then, um, you know, whatever the federated container has, which is, I think, just C advisor metrics for now. So, again, you can you can query up. Um, yeah, everything works fine. Uh, we can also go to targets. And we can see that we're grabbing metrics from another Prometheus instance and showing it on this federated version. I'm going to take it a little farther and we're going to add one more Prometheus container to scrape metrics from. So the Prometheus Federation container has two targets. So uh, we have one with C advisor. I'm going to define a really simple Node.js container um, and a Docker file out here. This is just for demonstration purposes only. We'll paste the contents of the Docker file here. This basically just copies a package JSON. We don't even need the package lock um, server.js file and then it's going to run the 
server on uh, 5000. Then I'm going to make a server.js file. Okay, so I pasted the node.js code here. Um, it's really, really simple. All it does is define an express server. It defines one metric flip count. So it's a really simple REST API that flips a coin and it just returns the text of the uh, result. Here we have one endpoint called flip coin and it'll be listening on port 5000 and it will also expose the metrics on that same port. Um, every time we call the endpoint, it's going to increment this metric flip count by one. Finally, I'll create a package JSON for this container. Uh, really simple, it just has two dependencies and then uh, to start it, it's just going to run the server JS file. So now back in our Docker Compose, I'm going to add the Node.js container and then one more Prometheus container to scrape the metrics and then the federated Prometheus will grab it from that Prometheus instance. So I'll put the coin API section right here. This just defines the uh, coin API, exposes it on port 5000 and it specifies the Docker file to be in the same directory as the Docker Compose YAML file. Okay, then we're going to grab this section here for Prometheus and define one more container and we'll call it Prometheus with Node.js metrics. And then I'll make one more file in Prometheus Federation or in the Prometheus folder, sorry, uh, with Node.js metrics like so. so. We can basically copy this. And the container name is going to be called Coin API. We don't even need this section. Um, it's going to be called coin API and it's listening on 5000. So I'm going to go back here and change the target to be coin API and then 5000. Um, also remember to change your uh, job name here. So now that we have the uh, Prometheus container defined to grab Node.js metrics, as well as the coin API, the last thing we need to do is specify it as another target in the federation container. I'm going to change the metrics path to be federate. So what this means is it's going to pull, instead of uh, this target slash metrics, it's going to pull it from slash federate. Um, that way you can pull more than one and they don't override each other. And this one is our next target, which is the Node.js metrics. I also need to add a new regex entry to this match array, and this will be app. So this means we're going to pull any metric that has a job label with any value and any metric that has an app label with any value. I'll also link to the Prometheus documentation if you want to read more about how these all work. So with this being done, let's go ahead and rebuild everything. Okay, it looks like everything's running. Now I'm going to switch to the browser. And on the targets page for our federated Prometheus, we can see that now we're pulling from federate for both targets. And if we go over to graph, Let's go ahead and query the up metric. And we can see that uh, everything is running. This is being pulled from the C advisor container, but since all this stuff is running on my computer, like in the same place, C advisor can see the other Prometheus uh, Node.js and the uh, Node.js container itself. So C advisor metrics are being pulled in. Um, let's go ahead and visit localhost 5000 uh, flip coin. So we're getting tails. I'll refresh it a couple times. Cool. So we got a couple uh, metrics or a couple responses there. Um, and I can also query flip count. See, so this was a uh, spiking because I was testing it before I recorded, but here I'll, uh, I'll flip it a bunch more times. All right, let's check again. Yeah, as you can see, it's going up even more. It's at 19. I'll do it five more times. And if we check it again, yeah, we can see, oh, well, I guess I was a little behind, but yeah, it's definitely going up for all the times I refreshed. Uh, so there you have it, Prometheus Federation aggregating metrics in a single place.